I want to thank my parents, because uh, they dropped me off. <laughs> I'm kidding, they're right here. <laughs> You're divorced, can you tell? <laughs> Mom, Dad? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back again guys and today we're doing some game news. Hell yeah. Lots to talk about, lots going on in the gaming world. The first topic is Game of Thrones. Yeah, guys, if you like, I don't know, war, violence, nudity, and sleeping with your sister... <laughs> Okay, I'm kidding about the war. War's wrong. No, guys, but the Game of Thrones game launches today. That's right. It's out. It's a six-part series from Telltale Studios. Part one launches today, and the reviews are coming in, and it's apparently pretty good. It's getting about an 80 on average, 80 out of 100, so about an 8.0 out of 10, whatever. And, uh, yeah, guys, IGN gave it an 8. A couple other places gave it, like, 8.1. So it might be worth picking up, especially if you're a gamer, and you like the Game of Thrones. Apparently, it's pretty story-based, so you can expect a lot of dwarves and magic and nudity and violence and all those good things that make life worth living. So check it out. It's on Steam. All right, topic two. All right, guys, the second topic is PlayStation. That's right, Sony's back at it. They are releasing the new patch or update, whatever you want to call it, and it's version 2.03. That's the one. Yeah, guys, it's pretty vague, but it's releasing today, and it's apparently going to help improve some usage for some applications. Whatever the hell that means, no idea, but it launches today. Couple other things, guys. The other big one is it's the 20-year anniversary of the Sony PlayStation 1. Yeah, guys, 20 years ago, they launched that bad boy, and uh, they're doing a big deal on their PlayStation Network. They're, they're giving huge discounts on their games. So if you like some retro, old-school Final Fantasy, Metal Gear stuff, check it out, guys. It's all coming available for pretty cheap. So you might want to look into that. Last thing about Sony I should mention is there's a new PlayStation 4 coming out that has old-school look to it. It's got, you remember the old PlayStation with the silver and the stuff like that, the, the sort of matte-looking color? Well, they've got a new PlayStation 4 that's going back to the old-school look. So you could stay tuned and... Check that out. That should be in stores pretty soon. All right, enough about Sony. Let's get to the next topic. All right, guys, the next one is Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed. No, I'm not talking about Black Flag or Unity. No, we've got another Assassin's Creed coming up. Yeah, guys, they're in a stiff competition with the Call of Duty guys to see who can make the most money off of a single IP. And one of the ways you could do that is make almost the exact same game and just keep re-releasing it like a year later and keep making money. No, joking aside guys, yeah, Assassin's Creed's in the news again. They've got a new one coming out that's slated for next year. It's temporarily called Victory. And here's the thing, it takes place in Victorian England. So in like the 19th century. So instead of, you know, Napoleon, yeah, Jack the Ripper. Okay, it's gonna be pretty good. The settings are out. There's some gameplay. Well, there's more pictures, pardon me. There's no real gameplay that I've seen yet, but apparently some of the press have seen it, pardon me. But there's some pictures out and there's some screen caps. Uh, I got them running in the background here. But anyways, 19th century London. I'm sure Jack the Rippers, we're talking carriages and like friggin' sewage in the streets and stuff like that but yeah joking aside guys it looks pretty good and there's gonna be a lot of really cool accents there's gonna be people saying like oi governor are you the landlord here no that didn't sound right no wait hold on hold on um uh let's see uh what'd you say you what mate you want to smash me face in i something something i swear on me mum <laughs> okay i don't have that at all right guys that was a total fail but whatever that was ne next topic all right, guys, and the last piece of news is GameStop. Yeah, everybody loves GameStop, guys. You could take in your seven best video games that you spent like 60 bucks on day one. Yeah, all $400 worth of games. You could take those into GameStop, trade them in for at least $7. That's right, guys. That's the GameStop I'm talking about. But joking aside, they've got some killer sales going on right now. So if you're looking for something like, let's say you're looking for an Xbox One, they got a deal where you can get an Xbox One, plus Assassin's Creed Black Flag, flag plus Assassin's Creed Unity, <laughs> all three of those things for 330 bucks, And that's pretty good, considering that a year ago, the Xbox One alone was $500 with that pile of crap connect. But whatever. Guys, there's some big deals at GameStop. There's some big launches coming out. Check out 
those games that I said, watch for some more videos. I'm back in the saddle. We're doing this stuff. This is Big C checking out. I'll be back soon. Bling!